Hey guys, welcome back to Chesapeake Guitar and Amp Repair. I wanted to give you a little update on me. So back in June, I broke my leg and I've been hobbling around on crutches all summer. Uh, I'm on the mend, I can walk again. I'm still strength training. I am busy in the shop. I'm trying to get as much done as I can. Uh, I believe that I'm gonna skip next week's Saturday video. It's the first Saturday video that I've missed, but then I'll be back the next week with another video. So enjoy hope you like this week's tip um wiring hollow bodies can be a pain in the butt but just stay with it be um be very deliberate on how you're wiring things and take your time and you'll get it deuces <laughs> Here's a quick tip. If you're not sure which wire goes to which pickup, you can use this little trick. So as long as everything is disconnected, okay? My wires are disconnected. Uh, this wire is coming out. You attach your multimeter to one side. You put it on the continuity checker, and then you touch the the, the uh, covers on the on the pickups. If it, if it beeps, that's the one. If it doesn't beep, it's not the one. You just have to make sure that the, um, the, the pickups are separated from each other. So this is for the neck and this one's for the bridge. Someone used, I don't know, Bondo or Weld On or something to glue the choke in this 345. So now I gotta try to scrape all that out and attach it appropriately. What a pain in the butt. So after I kinda hack all that stuff out the best that I can, I'm using sandpaper on a magnet. I'm going back and forth. Very slow, very careful. <laughs> 